make and pack an order with me. This is order 7302 for Saf, who has been one of my supporters for a very long time and I very much appreciate them. They ordered one of the wolf out hoodies in the Buy Pride colours. So first we have to print it, as you're seeing here. This is what's called Heat Transfer Vinyl, or HTV for short. We're using UV ink to print directly on top of it. It's really cool because that blue light you see in there is actually setting the ink immediately as it gets printed. Kind of like a UV resin. It's a pretty cool way of printing and there's a lot you can do with it, but I'll go over that in another video. Then it's off to the cutting machine that's going to do a halfway cut, so it's not going to cut completely through, but enough so that we can peel away everything that we don't need. Then comes one of the most satisfying parts of HTV, the weeding. In print, weeding just means removing everything that's not part of whatever it is you're actually making. This can be super fun or an absolute pain depending on how many little bits and bobs that you need to remove, like letters with lots of O's and B's and things that have little holes in the middles that you've got to get rid of. That, that becomes a fair bit of pain. <laughs> Thankfully, these ones are pretty easy. Once that's done, we need to apply this special transfer fill. This is going to peel up the design from the backing, but also protect it when we pop it in the heat press. Now comes time for our trusty squeegee. <laughs> we need to make sure that the design is nice and stuck, and we get out all the air bubbles, which can sometimes have quite the satisfying crackle. Then we separate all of our pieces and move over to the heat press. I do not have the best lighting over here, but we're going to peel off the transfer film, which is going to bring the design with it, and then line it up with the section of the jacket that it's going on, and press it down. Once she's done cooking for about 15 seconds, we thoroughly peel her off, and ta-da! We have done one of one, two, three, four, five transfers. <laughs> one of five transfers. These, these take a while. So rinse and repeat for every other section on this jacket. However, it is very much worth the efforts. Like, just look at how vibrant those colors are. It's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just, that's one thing that heat transfer vinyl seems to have above a lot of other sort of print methods for um, apparel. It's just, yeah, they get those colors so beautifully bright. And it's going to last a fair while too. They're, they're very durable through many wear and washes. There's lots of other fur and fibers in the workshop. So we'll go over her with a bit of a lid roller. So she's nice and clean before she goes home. Then we get our magical folding device that makes folding bajillions of shirts and jackets a heck of a lot easier. I would highly recommend one, even just for like stacking up your shirts in your wardrobe. They're really handy. I couldn't quite fit it in my normal satchels I use for hoodies, but I do have this beautiful box that I got from a previous supply order. So we're going to recycle it for this one. Lining and wrapping it up in our signature blue tissue paper, which also gets sealed with one of these super cute stickers. It's just, please open quick. I cannot hold on much longer <laughs> with that little mascot there holding on for dear life until Saf is able to open up his package. Get a nice and snug into the box there. Now, because again, Saf has been supporting me for a long time, I'm going to give them a couple little extras. So nice soda sticker for there and a couple of others with the business card. And then their packing slip. We pack it all up and she's almost good to go. Because now we get to do the tape. This tape is fully biodegradable and activates its stickiness with water. So I use a wet towel to just water the back of it, get it all nice and sticky before going all over the box, making sure everything is all covered and nice and secure. Then all that's left to do is print and attach the shipping label, which I'm not going to do on camera for obvious reasons. <laughs> and with that, we are Dunyan Rings. Thank you so much for joining me to make and pack this order. Thank you so much, Saf, for your order. And check out our stuff at burabani.com. Thanks again. See you next time.